what is going on everybody my name is notorious Crisco and this is going to be a short tutorial on electricity in the front um, as you can see I've done a really great job with this one here so I thought I might do a tutorial about it all right so the basic things that you need to create a power source and power up your uh, establishment is uh, going to be uh, you need an electric tool pack that's how you basically connect your generators to the things that you want to power there's three different types of generators. You have a diesel generator, a solar generator, a wind generator. The diesel runs off of gas, solar off of the sun, and wind off of the wind, obviously. Next, you will need some kind of circuit breaker. I mean, you don't absolutely need it, but if you want an on or off switch, you definitely want to have one. Um, the next is a coupler. That's if you're using multiple uh, power sources or multiple wires to try to go to one thing. Like as you can see here, I have three solar power generators going into one coupler, which then only produces one wire so that I connect to the battery. Um, now in the opposite of that, say you had uh, one circuit breaker and you want it to go to three separate items, like I could have used it here, but I didn't. Um, I'm running this in parallel with each other, but uh, if you wanted to do it that way, you could get a splitter that splits up one wire into three separate wires. So you can go to three separate entities. Then you'll need batteries. Um, so I, I spawned one of these in. I will get rid of it for solo watchers, um, but you're gonna need batteries, okay? This is your most basic. Um, this is actually a little bit bigger than your most basic. Um, it's four of your most basic lead acid batteries put together. Um, and that has a capacity of 160,000. So this one has 800,000. Yeah, that makes total sense. And I think the, uh, the current load capacity is a lot bigger as well. Yeah, so instead of 160 current load capacity, it has 500. So that's really the only difference there is your capacity, which is pretty cool. But let's go ahead and get rid of that for you solo watchers. Uh, that way you don't call me a cheater. I will get rid of all this stuff too. So this right here is my actual setup. These nine uh, solar power generators, these three batteries, the uh, coupler, and the circuit breaker over here. So <clears throat> this is what you would call, uh, there's actually, there's two ways of uh, running power inside of uh, this game, and I think just in general. So one is called in series. The other one is in parallel, okay? <clears throat> now this is in series. Think of these three as one series of uh, power generators, okay? Now those three are going to send out, I believe it says 16 per, so three times 16 into this coupler, which as you can see is going to be 48, okay? The 48 goes into this here battery, and then this battery sends it all the way to one more coupler down here which goes into the circuit breaker so there are three series of 48 power being generated into each of or into this coupler here okay which produces 160 um 160 per which ends up being 479 for whatever reason it loses a little bit of voltage which is cool but at the same time just add that into your calculations whatever you end up doing so 469 is uh, more than enough to run these two um, doohickeys here which is what I was going for as you can see it's running both of these and that is what I needed to sort of figure out electricity for it took a lot of missing and uh redoing and then i just started sort of spawning in stuff to try to figure it out a little bit better um so that i would stop wasting all the friggin resources so everything to my left right now power wise is fake don't think about that inside of my single player it is non-existent um but for our purposes right now it's going to work just fine so this is in parallel okay so these three and those three are in parallel to each other all right, so it's still going to be the, uh, uh, oh, that's weird. It's saying that it's 12 over here, huh? Well, it's 12 per um, unit, and maybe that's just based off of where the sun is. Maybe that's the same over there. Hold on, let's just go check, actually. Yeah, that's just because of where the sun's at right now, so that's going to go up and down depending on how high the sun is. All right, that's fine. Anyways, back to what I was doing. So I got two sets of three solar panels going into a coupler each, which goes into a general coupler. Um, or a final coupler, which then goes into our string of batteries, all right? So, as you can see, uh, each battery is going to each input, um, and this is what they would call in parallel. So they are in parallel together, which if you're looking for a lot of power, you're gonna wanna do in series, 
If you're looking for longer power, you're going to want in parallel. As you can see right here, um, the amount of, let's put that on just so we can see for purposes, all intents and purposes. As you can see, it's producing 159 volts of power or watts of power, whatever it may be. So that's definitely not going to be enough to power either of these, let alone both of them. Um, but it would be enough to like say power your house for long extended periods of time like as you can see here the very last battery has a uh, time duration of 37 hours so you never have to basically turn this off ever so it's perfect for your home which I'm probably gonna end up doing something like that over there since uh, as you guys saw at the very beginning of the video my lights keep turning on and off because I am good at this game now um, the less efficient way but uh, more powerful way to do something is to set a series of diesel generators. Um, I was looking for more clean power since uh, I didn't want to continue to spend tons and tons of gasoline on these power generators but they do produce a tremendous amount of electricity so if you look here all three of those put together are producing and they're, they're actually producing 240 each but uh, it equals 719 after the, uh, the volt loss. Uh, so that would be more than enough to power pretty much everything I have over at the, uh, the horde base. So I may end up doing that, but I would much rather just do it clean. There's wind turbines later in the, in the game, in the, uh, the branch, the tech tree, but I haven't gotten to those yet, so I'm not going to do anything about those um, inside of this little tutorial. But... Uh, who knows if I if I learn a little more I might show you the wind generator I assume that they're in pretty close resemblance to these solar power generators being that it's another clean uh, energy source uh, for power so I highly doubt that there's too much difference maybe there's difference in like where you place it where the wind blows where the wind blows or uh, like how these are uh, throughout the day maybe it goes up and down a little more I'm not exactly sure uh, how that's gonna work but I will let you know when I get into it in the story mode or in the solo mode um, but yeah I just wanted to show you guys what I've learned since in my last episode it looked pretty cluster and uh, all over the place and I did not have any actual facts when it came down to creating power sources um, or power generators and circuits and stuff like that um, soon I'm going to be doing a bunch of research on and or uh, or not gates um, which is like unless you if you guys do any kind of like Minecraft stuff you can make some pretty amazing um, contraptions with those logic gates um, so I'm pretty stoked to see what all we can end up doing with those like maybe I can power these doors uh, maybe I can power this manual miner stuff like that uh, just by like walking on a pressure plate or stuff like that I think that would be so cool um, but that is going to be in the future. Hopefully I will make a future tutorial upon those But if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment and leave it a like it really does help me out on YouTube and get more people to see these videos um, If you have anything fun to talk about tips or tricks, please leave them in the comments section below 360 no scope um, And then if you want to see any more of the front videos or just more videos by me in general Please go to my YouTube notorious Crisco hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon that way you're updated anytime that I post a new video but besides that come and hang out with us during our solo adventure in the front i love you guys thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me god bless you and bye